get first class if you're a movie star. Or multi. What? Oh, you're saying forget yeah. it. Oh, sorry. Forget first class. I thought I was reading the wrong thing. Sorry. Forget oh, it. Okay. No, because then I'd look at you and go, no, no, you're reading the wrong thing. <laughs> well, forget if first class. A, if you're a movie star or multi-millionaire travelling by private plane, it's the ultimate status symbol. <laughs> ultimate. Now, you know you've made it when you can afford to a pilot. You've got to do it at the right time, otherwise it's a waste <laughs> sorry, of a flip. Sorry, it doesn't make sense. Uh, when you can afford a pilot to uh, jet you around for a staggering $8,000 an hour in the wow. air. Now, when I was in LA, I met the former Hollywood film producer turned private jet business owner who revealed some of the most extravagant and outrageous requests from the Jet Set Club. Being an A-lister comes with its fair share of pretty sweet perks, and travelling by private jet is the ultimate status symbol. Popping bottles in the ice like a blizzard. Now, I suppose I could take an UberX out to LAX and grab a discount airfare, but that's not how we roll in LA, baby. We always want to know how the other half live. Now I'm going to show you how the other half of the other half live as I take my Corvette to my jet. And someone who knows a thing or two about luxury air travel is former Hollywood movie producer turned Jet Edge president, Bill Paparella. Hey, Bill. How you doing, Larry? Good, how about you? Nice ride. Thank you. I like your ride better. This is a better ride, actually. Tell me about this. All right, well, this is a Gulfstream 4. Yeah. 14 passenger long range aircraft. Now, so. the, uh, the boss did give me the company credit card for this trip. Mm -hmm. You think I can squeeze this in on that, or what are we talking about? Yeah, if you've got the black card with a $10 million credit line, you'll probably, you'll probably be okay <laughs> on this one, yeah. And this one over here is like just out of the box, right? Yeah, out of the box, G550, new, $52 million. From Donald Trump's reported $100 million Boeing 757 to Harrison Ford's estimated $18 million Cessna, whether it's movie stars, pop stars or media tycoons, joining the private jet club means you can travel the globe in privacy and style. We want to know about the Hollywood parties. Is it like it is in the movies? We get all those stars on and their entourage. So our celebrities range from a young pop star who might have the entourage yeah, yeah. Um, to the A-list, A-lister who's, you know, now crossed over into the 45, 50, maybe 60-year-old category right. and wants a more chill lifestyle. All of our celebrity clients, regardless, have always been very respectful when right. they get on the plane. Yeah. So, then, you know, so the difference is whether it's three bottles of Dom or one. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah, separates. That's, that's, that's the only really difference. makes the big difference. You gotta know I'm feeling love. Made it go. I'll never love her. Okay, well, you can have just about anything you want. Yeah. You're starting off with salads and some fruit, a little more champagne, and then uh, maybe you can move to a your main chorus. You were a movie guy like most yeah. people in Hollywood. Tell, yeah. us about, tell us about that. So yeah, I was in the movie business for about 14 years. Somebody came calling and asked me if I wanted to help uh, sort of, you know, help them with their company, uh, private aviation and, and uh, with Hollywood. And I said, yeah, we'd do it. And that went well for about three years. And I thought, well, you know what the heck, I'll buy my own company and I'll do it myself. And so, you know, that's how Jet Edge was born. Now back to the movie days, you worked with our old buddy Russell Crowe there. Yeah, I did. I did a movie with Russell, um, I think uh, in uh, 2000 called Mystery Alaska. It was when he was just breaking out. He'd already he'd already done uh, some accomplished work. I mean, he was a rising star at the time, but um, when we sold the script uh, to uh, Disney, um, he was one of our top choices. He accepted and, you know, I spent about 90 days with him in, uh, in uh, Canada. Uh, filming and ice skating on ponds and you know, right, right. yeah, he was a great, he was a great guy. What are you talking about? I'm talking about we're beaten. We're not beaten. I'm not beaten. We're in this game. And are they hitting you up for what we call mates rates? Like, no, hey, you know this. Come on. We don't do mates rates here. You know, I call it uh, favored nation. So you know, uh, <laughs> you know, if if, if uh, somehow Russell Crowe fly on this plane it would be at the same rate as, uh, you know, maybe a George Clooney. Is there a strange request? Is there a, the strangest request you've had? The strange would be is I need to take my dog to the vet. I'm going to fly my dog by himself to a state where there's a famous vet, and the vet will pick him up off the plane, do what they need to do, and then, you know. That's great. We get a ton of requests where I want, I want sushi, but I only want it made by Nobu. Or I want, which is fine, and we'll and we will get it for you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Or they want this famous burger from from New York, and, and we're in New York. We've had uh, uh, some celebrities send the plane to states where there's a famous restaurant to pick up the food and bring it back for their dinner that night. How much would it cost me 
just to take the crew, just from here to Sydney. So here to Sydney, you're looking at about uh, you know $8,000 an hour, and that's uh, that flight's probably 40 hours, somewhere around there. So it's about, in 19 14. hours each way, that's about 35 hours. So figure you're you're going to be in this for a solid $280,000 US. We're back to the boat, guys. Sorry. Next time you come to the U.S., we'll make sure we get you on one of these the right way. Right, well, I might be back next weekend, I think. Okay, come back. <laughs> I'll get you on the right way. <laughs> I love that idea of ordering your favourite sandwich in New York. Wouldn't having it flown to L.A. Wouldn't it be stale by the time it got no, to No, because I reckon though? they'd have those little boxes. Oh. No, it would go in that perfect galley there in the... The bulldog would eat it. That bulldog in 1A would all's eat I'm your sandwich. Saying is, all I'm saying is, next time we go back to America, you want to stick with me. <laughs> can I, well, can yes. I just ask the question? Yes. I reckon you drove that Corvette a total of eight metres. Did you? I don't know. What's, ha what's happened to you today? Because everybody on this show, you're shooting down in flames. Everybody. How far Pete did Ford's you drive? crying. How far did you drive the Corvette? Across the across the runway. How far did you say? Eight metres. Eight metres. I'm going out with Pete Ford. I'm going into the non. I'm going to the non-believer victim room over here. Anyway, I think what you'll find. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Oh, no, I said eight. Could have been twelve. I think it was twelve. But oh no. Well, technically there were three takes, so that's technically twenty-four metres. Oh, and you had to reverse. <laughs> it's all right. Pete's out there crying in the green room. I'm coming out to see you now, Pete. I know what it feels like. Hey, uh, thank you to the guys at Jet Edge for their hospitality. We had an absolutely fantastic time. For Bet more you information, did. you probably want some more information, you can head to our website.